Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add submenu items. Now, submenu, we're here on our test page called Bats and Balls. We have this top menu here, and I'm going to teach you how to not only add the drop downs, but the sub drop downs as well. So, we're going to log into the control panel, administrator side, the back side of the page. Type in our username and password. Oops, it, we already had it typed in, been saved. So we'll go over here to Menu Manager. Now I've previously created some other articles. We're going to go to our top menu here, as that is called the top menu. And I'm going to click on this. If I click over here, it's just going to bring up. Uh, the name of the menu that we can change. We don't want to change the name. We want to click on this and it shows you our three items here. Now let's say under red I want to add new. Okay, So I'm going to click on new here and I've created these articles like I said. It's a single article so it's article layout and I'm going to select an article called red balls. Now I'm going to title this red balls and we can leave the alias blank. It'll fill in itself. Click Save. Now let's go preview that and you see it just added there. Now here's what we've got to do. See, We'll just keep adding them there unless we do this one step. We'll go back here to that red balls. Now, right here we have what's called a parent item. Okay, we don't want this parent item be in the top. We want this parent item be in the red. We're going to click save now. We'll go to the front page again. Click refresh. Now you'll notice that disappeared, but what happened is it made it. Oops, I gotta enable the menus. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here to Module Manager. Look for that top menu, which is a module. Uh, there it is, at the very bottom. Now, we want it enabled, but we always want it to show sub menu items yes and we want a yeah this is good right here that should probably do it for us right there so let's go back and look now refresh the page and you'll notice when we hover over that that other article shows up okay now let's take it one step further. Let's go back to the top menu. We want to add a new article. A new link, I mean, a new menu link, another article layout. And what was that last one? Red? Uh, let me see, I forgot. It was red balls. Okay, red balls. So we're going to go select an article. And we'll say Big Red Balls and title this Big Red Balls. Save that. And we got to select its parent item. We want its parent item to be Red Balls. Okay, we're going to add a new one. An article. Article layout. Select article. Little red balls. And we'll title this Little Red Balls. And we'll save that. Now, let's click on that front page again. Refresh. Now what happens now, 
when we hover over this, now we bring it down to there, and we have big red balls. Oh, we forgot to assign a, this one to little red balls to the parent item, which is red balls. I can't forget that stuff, so we want the parent item to be that. Now we should have it all working good. Hope I didn't completely confuse you there. Refresh the page. Okay, now when we hover over it, we've got red balls. Now we go down to the red, we have red, red balls. We hover down that, we have our two even sub links. So this is the parent item. This is the parent item of these two. And that's how you do that. You click on any of these and it will add a link. Now you can go virtually as far down as you want. You can have subs and subs and deeper subs and deeper sub menus. But that is how you do that. Just make sure when you get here, you see how this lays it out there. That'll tell you the parent item, the one beneath it, and the one beneath it. And this can go keep virtually going down pyramid effect for however long. I could do the same with blue and green and each of these it makes a nice the front page look nice and tidy but when you hover over it it brings up the menu if when you hover over that it brings up that menu and that's it for this lesson if you have any questions you can feel free to email me I'll be sure to get right back with you thanks for watching